G'day, uh, welcome to part two of this video. Uh, part one's already up. I, I hope you watched that one and enjoyed it. It was mainly the fishing side of it, this video. And, and uh, this year, part two will be like the crabbing and a um, bit of foraging and stuff. So I had to do, do it in two parts because it was it was gonna be too long. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed that one and I hope you enjoy this one also. Um, Thank you so much to anyone that comments and subscribes and shares um really appreciate it also if you have any questions um uh, send them to me and I'll, I'll try and answer the best i can hope you enjoy the video just a little finale. Okay, now it's time to do the hard yards. I um, I set a crab pot back there. Set it overnight. No luck. Um, so now I'm gonna make my way through these mangroves and see if I can't. Oh, there's a mud crab there. Find some mud crabs. I think he's too small. Um, get some crabs and some long bums, a type of mangrove snail. So, here's a crab right here. So that's a good start. Don't think it's big enough though. It's hard work up in these mangroves, full of green ants and mozzies and flies, but it's well worth it if you catch something. This guy's trying to hide. So there's one just there. Pressure on it. <sighs> That's a Jenny, a female. You can tell by this flap here. So she'll put her eggs underneath that. There's none there now. Let her go. <sighs> There's a good size buck there. Wow. Got him. What's up, beauty? So nice, muddy there. Yeah. It is crocodile country. You got to be aware of that, but it's a good buffer zone. These roots, they can't get you up in these roots. So as long as I'm not out there, I'm okay. So. The object here is just to, you've just got to keep looking at the water, any movement. But they're really hard to see, they're really well camouflaged, so just keep your eyes out. And uh, yeah, it's a really rewarding way to catch them, but hard work. These mozzies are just hammering me today. I just got swarmed by a heap of green ants back there too. come through a fair way now while well, I've been in the mangroves a fair amount of time you don't really go far in the mangroves it's such hard work so these are the other guys I came up for it's called a mud whelk or uh, more commonly known as the uh, long bum it's a type of gastropod um, they live up in these intertidal areas up in the mangroves they live on detritus and uh, zooplankton. They just forage across these mud flats. And they're really nice to eat. I bought some um, special sauce out. It's a soy, soy sauce base with some chili and stuff in it. So I'll get a feed of these and take them back to the fire. We'll cook a few up and I'll show you how to, how to eat them. Oh, 
put them all in there. Look how big it is. You gonna You're have really that? not gonna get me? Nah. <laughs> this gonna, is for dinner. You gonna have that for dinner? Yeah, I think. <laughs> He's a good size, hey? Look at the size of the claws. My sauce. Hopefully he's full. Oh yeah, you got your sauce too, hey? Yeah. All right, I'll go and try and get some more. Okay, so we've got a nice bed of coals here. So, I'm gonna cook these long bums up. Okay, so they're cooked, 10 or 15 minutes on the coals there. So now we, what we gotta do is just wait for them to cool down. I've got some uh, salt water in a bucket here. And I've got some, uh, like some sauce my, my missus made up. It's like an Asian sort of sauce. Soy, soy sauce uh, base with chili and a few other things in there. So we'll wait for these to cool down. I'll smash them open with a hammer and um, we'll get stuck into them. Oh, that is so good. I've been hanging to try that sauce with them. You can just have them raw, uh, normal, straight out of the shell. Dip them in salt water, soy sauce, vinegar, whichever. Look at this crab hole here. There's a big one down in there. I just felt it with the spear. So I'm gonna have to dig him out. Oh yeah, another nice little muddy.
second dead croc I've seen in the last couple of days. Time to munch one of these crabs. Beautiful big full, he was full too, plenty of meat in him. Big lollipop. About as good as it gets this stuff. Oh. Boiled in the um, ocean water makes a big difference too. Yum. Been a croc come from the ocean over into here. My pot was over there. So I've got to cross here to get back over to that car. We're in croc country, so it's not advisable, but because this water's so clear, I can see a long way both ways. But if that was murky, me personally, I'd just wait this side of the bank until the um, tide went down. But it'll be all right here crystal clear 
Okay. I'm just waiting for the tide to drop so I can get back across this river. So I've gone for another bit of a look up here for some crabs. Found this hole here. Looks pretty fresh, so I'm gonna put my knife down there and see if there's anything in there. <clears throat> oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, there's a big muddy down there. He's down about there somewhere. So I'm going to have to dig him out. Yeah, another good muddy. I bought my digi out with me. I haven't played it in a while. Um, I just put some new wax on it, so I might give it a bit of a bit of a whirl and play a bit of a tune on it. I'm not the best. I um, I got a lot of practice to do, but it's still good fun. Valley.
so I set these pots a couple of days ago. We're on our way back into Darwin. Let's check and see if there's anything in here. Yeah, so these guys are called Red Claw. You can see by that uh, red colour on their claws there. Like a little type of yabby, little crustacean. So you've got a heap of them, it would be a great feed. We've only got a couple, but I'll take them home and boil them up anyway. Haven't had a feed of them for a long time. I'm going to do a couple of laps through this fresh water here. Just try and wash off um, any excess salt and sand underneath the car from being down the beach. What a beautiful creek, I love this creek. Flows all year round, always crystal clear. Must be a natural spring up there further, but it's beautiful water. Little natural spa here if you feel like a swim. Okay. We'll head off towards Jabiru. We've got uh, we've got to go through Cahills now, so 